8 miles and 8 arches. Challenging terrain and incredible views await you on the Devil's Garden Trail in Arches National Park. We had a 7 a.m. entry pass into Arches National Park and drove all the way to the end of the road where the Devil's Garden Trail is. Here we are. Parking lot's pretty empty. So we are starting right here for the Devil's Garden and we're gonna come up and hit Tunnel Arch and then Pine Tree Arch and then up here to Landscape Arch, Partition Arch, Navajo Arch, and then we will continue all the way over here to Double O. I'm not sure if we're gonna hit the Dark Angel today or not, but that's uh, not an arch. And we'll come up here to Private Arch and all the way back around. Got a trailhead picture and off we go. It's about 10 till 8 in the morning. Yeah, it's nice and cool right now. It is the end of August. And it's yes. supposed to be uh, hit 101 today. We want to be out of here as an out of here by like 11 or noon. <laughs> That's our goal. This is cool. And we have Tunnel Arch. We have Pine Tree Arch. Beautiful. Now it's just under a mile to Landscape Arch. This here is the Landscape Arch. We're going to head over to the viewpoint. So this here is Landscape Arch and it is over 300 feet long and back in 1991 part of that rock fell off of there so they used to allow people to go under the arch but not anymore now. Double O Arch is about a mile away. So pretty. So it took us about 30 minutes to get from the trailhead to Landscape Arch and that's with the stops at Tunnel Arch and Pine Tree Arch but we are hustling because of the heat. What a cool place this is. Okay looks like we're on our first fin here. You can see some people way up there. This is Really steep right here. Right up over there is, it's called Wall Arch. Can't see it real good, but, but anyway, it's another cool arch. We're heading to Navajo Arch. So we'll wow. This Navajo Arch. It's beautiful. So we decided to skip Partition Arch. Um, we have a really long way to go and we're pretty concerned about the heat. 
So we are on our way to the double O arch. It was a mile, I believe, from that sign we were just at. We have gotten off trail, so it's a good idea to download an app like uh, All Trails or something like that because we don't see any Karens around. Somehow we missed it. With the app, we'll get back on track. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think we're back on track. This is amazing landscape. Wow. Look at all those folds. And we know we're on track because I see a sign right up there. We're going to head over to the Black Arch Overlook. Four tenths of a mile to Double O Arch. So we just came from over there down to this way and now we can see the double O arch. Very cool, a big O and a little O. Way cool. There's the Dark Angel, only we're not going to hike the mile out and mile back. We can see it from here pretty good. We are starting the Primitive Trail, which it says it's difficult hiking, so there we go. So we left Double O about 9.30. Now we're on the real Primitive Trail. We've got an arch up there. Not sure what this one's called. Got us a Karen here. It's three tenths of a mile to Private Arch. Private Arch, end of trail. Looks like we, we have made it. So, here it is. Wow. Oh, that's cool. All right, we have 2.4 miles to get back to the trailhead from Private Arch. And it is currently 10.15 and uh, we took a short five minute break. Looks like we need 
to get down this. There's a cairn down there. Wow, this is really beautiful. This is harder than it looks. Oh, here's the, uh, the pool of water. I wonder if we can scooch across this way. Then I'll help you down. Okay. This way. Now it's my turn. Wes helped me get down to the log. Luckily, the pool was half dried out, so we didn't have to get our feet wet. There's a little mud pool. Trail leaves wash. Now comes the hard part. It's all uphill from here. We finished the loop and the primitive trail. We are on the last leg out, which is the stick of the lollipop loop. We can see the parking lot. What a great hike this was. We're back to the trailhead. It is 11.45ish. And we started at 7.50, so that's about four hours to do the whole thing. And we did hustle, and we hit most of the stops. So, pretty good. That rated probably like four out of five. It's a pretty hike. It's, um, the scrambling and such is nice, and the scenery is very pretty, you know? So, yeah, I'd, I'd rate it that high. So, it's a good hike. Worth doing. Time for lunch at our favorite spot in Moab. Milts. It's a little all in the wall place, but it's got amazing food. We've got some onion rings today, and Wes has his Santa Fe burger. It's got the big old slabs of green chilies in it. Right it looks there. really good. <laughs> I'm trying a fish burger today. Thumbs up for this place. It's awesome. 